Hi, welcome back to my channel. Sorry if the video is a bit shaky. Um, I'm holding it and I also have a cold, so my throat is kind of weird. But anyway, that's enough excuses. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing... I thought someone was gonna come in. Today I'm gonna be doing like a tour of my room. And it's gonna be a quick video because it's only a small room. Well, not small, it's quite big for boarding school. But it's, uh, yeah, we're gonna just do a tour of my room and maybe a quick overview of what my day looks like at boarding school. Just as I'll answer some questions I get quite a lot, like, are you a snob? No, I don't think I am. I live in Kent, like we're not that posh, you know? All right, let's get on with the video. Let's do it. Okay, so, take these off. No, I won't take them off, my head hurts so much. Okay, so come in through this door and we have this beautiful hook, which is very uninteresting. But you know what is interesting? A fire escape plan that nobody reads. That is interesting. Okay, so we come into my room and I have, this is kind of what it looks like. And it's pretty big actually for a boarding school room, especially ones that I've shared in. I've had rooms the same size as this where there's like four of us in there and it's like, I have no space, please leave me alone. <laughs> that kind of feeling. Um, but sorry about the shaky camera. My hand is shaking because we had CCF earlier. Anyway, so I'm in my own room, which is actually glorious. I'm loving it. Um, I do miss having a roommate, but I also like having my own space. That's quite nice. Uh, so as we come in, go back to the door. Bah, bah, bah. It goes straight to my bed, which is really disconcerting. Um, literally, as people... Because in uh, our school, like teachers come in to make sure you're actually where you're meant to be. Like, to check you're there, like kind of like count you. Not, they don't count you, but like to make sure that you're actually where you're meant to be. So when I'm just sat in my bed and they literally, I don't have any time to like react or to see them. So they just pop their head around the door and I'm like, I, <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> you think I would be after six years, but I'm, I'm still not. So bed, drawers, drawers in my bed. It's fairly straightforward. Wardrobe, you know, it's messy because I don't like to tidy things, so I'm not going to show you the bottom because that's where I throw everything. <laughs> I have my camera, which is my probably my favourite possession apart from my violin. Um, my granddad gave me it. So, it's all very simple over here. Oh, we have my gorgeous posters. We're not allowed to stick stuff on the walls. But from here to there to there, especially that one, to there to there as you can see it's not a rule that i tend to follow you know yeah like where other people have done it but you know it'll be summer so i probably won't care that much uh i'd prefer to have a room that looks like a room rather than just a like a psychiatric ward <laughs> so this bed used to be in this gap right here and now boarding school especially this one seems to have buildings that leak all the goddamn time. I swear something's always broken, right? So you can see up here where the, it's a different color. That's because it started leaking. You can see the hole in the corner because it started leaking where it's been repainted. My bed used to be in this beautiful gap and then I'd have loads of space over here. But uh, I'm not strong enough to move it back after the maintenance guys fixed it. Don't get me wrong, I'm so happy they fixed it because I really don't want a room with water pouring out of the ceiling, right? For obvious reasons. So, oh, we have my mirror. Hello. Say hello to the people, to the camera. <laughs> um, this cam, this makes me laugh, because look, you see how it top, chops the top of my head off? This is really weird, because I'm looking at the camera, but I'm looking in the mirror, and now I'm looking at you, but I'm also looking at myself. Trippy. Anyway, so to see in my whole body, in the thing, I have to be like back here, so say hello, hi. It's kind of weird, right? Yeah. I'm talking to myself, that's cool. So then we come into my beautiful bathroom, and this door, see how thick this is? Look, it like, you, you probably can't tell, it probably looks like a normal door, but it's like cardboard. Like, it feels like cardboard. So, it's a fairly normal ensuite. You have shower, and I don't have an ensuite at home because I live in a three bedroom, so it's attached. Um, but this is like glorious to have like my own shower, and I'm like, ah! Uh, no, but to be honest, most showers around here, are showers that you have in a swimming pool. You know when you press the button and it goes cold and then it goes really hot? That's what a lot of other girls have. But perks of being a sit former. 
I've been here for like six years, so I get the nice rooms, just how it works. Um, and then the guys that have been here for seven years, they get the even nicer rooms. So next year, I'm gonna be at the top of that game. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of forgot that I was filming. <laughs> so this shower, right, I'm living in the new age. This shower has temperature control and it's not a button and it continuously pours water because the tap is on. How lucky am I? And that's not sarcasm. I've done five years with a sh button shower. And I tell you what, after, you just get in from games after it's been snowing or raining or something, you just want to shower and it keeps turning off. Or you want to just, you know, you're having a depressed day, so you want to just sit in the bottom and have the rain, the water rain on you. Nope. Nope. This is such a personal problem, but you know, each to their own. Um, <laughs> I'm going to answer some questions in a minute. Oh, so. We all have a desk, right? So the younger years don't have desks in their room. They have to study in what we call like prep rooms. So we call homework prep because it's like preparation work for your next lesson. For some reason we call it something different. I don't really know why. <coughs> Sorry, cold. Um, but I have a desk because obviously I'm in sick form, so trusted. <laughs> and we have these like spinny chairs, which means that I don't get any work done because I'm a child basically um but this is where the magic happens magic this is where my four videos that i've posted so far happen uh i sit here and i literally put my camera here because it's the only place that i don't have to hold it because you can see how shaky the camera is no i'm joking you can see how shaky the camera is when i'm just holding it um oh i've been i keep saying all oh, because i've just i've never really thought about my room this deeply because it's just a room but now I'm like realizing stuff. So these I need to put up, but I lost the plug. So last year I had them like all around the edges and it made it really like cool. But this room does have something that other rooms don't. Cause this used to be a staff room. Like the staff used to sleep in this room. Not the, It was like an apartment, like this room and two other rooms were put together to make an apartment. It has a lot of perks like this. One light goes off, the one above my bed stays on, the one above my desk stays on, and then that turns off and it's all dark and you can't see me anymore. And then the midnight comes on and it's dimmer. Uh, I love it. I love it. Simple things, please simple minds. <laughs> <coughs> so yeah, I'm gonna sit down in a second and we're gonna do some quick like questions I got asked quite a lot. And sit down all of that. <laughs> I get asked quite a lot, are you posh? Like, am I kind of stuck up? No, I don't think so. I'm from Kent. Like, we're not known for being that posh. But um, I guess I do have a, I can put a posh accent. Of course, when I say that I can put a posh accent on, it doesn't sound that posh. And when I'm at home, I sound a lot less like this now than I do here. Because I guess you like change your, you like acclimate to your situation, I suppose. Psychology. Um, I'm so crazy in this video, I have, I need to get some sleep, but anyway. Um, I also get asked, like, isn't it really expensive, and, like, how do you afford fees? Firstly, asking someone how they afford anything is so rude. <laughs> like, my finger is so bad. Anyway, how is kind of rude, you know? Like, I understand that you're just curious, but, like, <laughs> you're basically asking me, like, how much money I have a lot of the time. Um, so, I don't have that much money. I literally live in, like, a semi-detached tree you know, like a normal house, like, I'm a normal person, um, I'm not one of those crazy rich, like, weird people with, like, too much more money than sense, you know, um, so I have worked really hard to get here, basically, um, but yes, the actual fees are ridiculous, it's like, what, nine and a half thousand pounds a year, how do people have that much money, I don't know, so, the other thing is, I don't go hunting on the weekends. I don't go horse riding in the mornings. I don't own a horse. I don't go playing polo. Like the guy, you know the guy on TikTok and he's like, I'm late for my polo fixture. You know, that's not me. I come to school, I do my school, and then I come here. And then I do CCF, and sometimes I go rock climbing and do some outdoorsy type things, which is why I started this Triano. Anyway, I also get asked, uh, why do you board? Now, I get asked this because I only live about an hour. It's so loud, everyone's running around. As you can hear, you can literally hear through the walls. I don't know if you can hear it on here, but like, it's like people are running inside my room. It's kind of, kind of annoying sometimes, but you know, it's life, so we get on with it. Um, what was I saying? I got sidetracked again. 
um, we get asked, uh, we, I get asked, why do I board? That's because I live about an hour away uh, with traffic, probably like 45 minutes more, probably accurate. And it's simply because um, I can't get the support I need um, financially wise if I didn't board. And also it's just, uh, an hour is quite a long time to travel to get to school, it is. Um, so this just takes away that stress and my parents both work full time jobs and my mum is disabled so like it makes it quite easy to me for me because all I've got to do is walk out the door and suddenly I'm here, it's a whole new world, you know what I mean? So that's good, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Um, another thing I get asked is, every time I say another thing I get asked, I forget what the question was. I don't remember. Oh yeah, so I was going to talk about a ranking system that our school has. Now it's kind of unspoken, but it's there. So, we have like a year system in that the more years you're here, the more privileges you have. Which makes sense, you know, like year sevens, they haven't been here very long, they don't really deserve like the... Well, they do deserve it, but like, they haven't done their time, you know? <laughs> so year sevens and eights live in a separate house. And that's a mixed house, which is very really cool because you get to have friends of both boys and girls and you sort of live in your own little bubble really, you don't really see anyone else. You go to meals together, you come back, you live in the same building, you know, you go to all your classes in that building. Uh, you go to town on a Saturday. That's about it, really. Sounds really sad, but it's not because your friends are there. Um, whereas I live in senior school, which is year nine to upper six. And I live in the girls' boarding house, obviously, because I'm a girl and I board fairly explanatory. Um, go get yourself one of these. Save the planet. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, but come on, like, if you're using a metal bottle, you're using less plastic. Side note, just thought about it, and it says save our seas because it's saving the seas from plastic. Anyway, not what I was talking about. Getting sidetracked, I need to tunnel vision what I'm doing. Right, <laughs> so I live in uh, the girls' boarding house, um, so that basically means I spend all my time here. And this, these four walls, no, I'm joking. So I go to school uh, in all of the school buildings, which are around the school, and we have these fobs which are like key cards, and then at each door there's like a thing and you like, it goes beep, beep, beep. And I have a horrible picture um, there, which is disgusting. And I'm not gonna show you the rest of the stuff on there because confidential information. It's basically an identity card and then it lets you into certain buildings and it doesn't let you into others, which is really annoying, especially if like the staff get separate pathways that they can use that are quicker. And then if it's raining and you wanna walk around school and not be outside you can you can't go through the staff ones because it doesn't let you in which is really annoying but you know it's life so <laughs> we move on um and then basically as you go up the school you get nicer things so in year seven and eight you have five people five to six people in your room junior school have like eight in a room which is un incomprehensible to me like five is enough five i did two years of five people in my room Five to six, I had six at one point, because we had like an extra bed at the other end, which was kind of cramped, but you know. So it's about the room, same size as this actually, but there's like beds like next to each other in like rows, and then there's nothing separating them, they're just there, which is, you know, you just get used to I suppose. And then the bathrooms are like, there's two toilets and two showers, and then they're like cube, like in a swimming pool, literally like the ones in a swimming pool, like with the, the doors, like with the cubicle doors, it's literally the same. Anyway. And then you come to where I am and you go to year nine. In your nine rooms, there's four people in a room. I know. You lose a whole two people. They're like, get out. I'm moving up in the world. <laughs> uh, no, it's like, it's a lot nicer because you get really close to those four girls. Then you go to year, year 10. I have to think about it because we call it fifth form, sixth form, fourth form, third form, you know. So you go into year 10. Now, this is also rooms of four, I believe. But you can also get twos. Now, uh, if you've been here since Kirby, then you've been here for four years by the time you get to fourth form, you're more likely to have a room with two people. If you join in third form, and you've only been here one year to get to fourth form, you're probably gonna have a room of five people, right? So it's like, 
the longer you've been here, the more you deserve, which I think makes sense, but that's only because I've been here for six years, so I get quite a lot of stuff like that. <laughs> when I was in year seven, I didn't think so much of it, but you know, there we go. Um, and so I've been here for six years now. This is my sixth year. It's a long last time, I know. So I have my own room and it's huge and I have a lovely shower and I have free periods where I don't have to do it. I have to study. I study in my free periods, you know. I, I, I study a lot in my free periods. <laughs> so cringy. And then that's about it. Um, you just get privileges in when, the longer you've been here. So one of my friends, she's been here since junior school. So she's been here like three more years than I have. So she gets first pick of the rooms, right? So Miss will go up to her and she'll go like, which one do you want next year? Doesn't mean you're gonna get it, but it just means that you get the option of, sit, of saying your preference, right? So that's kind of, it makes it more fair, more democratic way of running things, I suppose. Not democratic, it's the wrong word, more fair. And then that's about it. I'm probably gonna make another clip. This is a 10 minutes of me talking. That's kind of boring. Don't know. If this is the end. So that's just stuff that I get asked a lot about boarding school and what a lot of people don't know. So uh, I hope you've learned something about private schools and that uh, it's not exactly what people say. It's not like Eton. It's not like um, all these posh schools. Yes, it is posher than some. We get a lot of opportunities here. But no, it's not like I go jockeying and playing polo fixtures in the morning and then I do etiquette lessons in the evening, you know? I do have a normal life, I'm just a kid at school. Like you can see I'm just in my dungarees and my hoodie and I'm just chilling out, right? So I hope you've learned something. If not, I hope you find it interesting just learning about my life at school. I'll probably do a day in the life at some point, but that's a lot of work um, that I don't have time for at the moment just because of my A-levels. So, in that case, I will see you later. Always forget, like and subscribe. Show some support, okay? I've just started. So go and press the like button and subscribe, okay? <laughs> Thank you.